Hello guys, welcome to Surveying Solutions from Brian Channel where you get solutions to all your surveying problems. It's nice having you in class again today, how have you been? So on today's tutorial, we are going to look at categorized symbology in AGIS Pro, right? Good. So um, we have the boundary shape file of Nigeria that shows the different states. So the idea is that um, we want to use this um, categorized symbology to now symbolize the different states with what um different colors right good so yours might not be this um boundary yours might be a different phenomena that um has different values that you want to represent what um maybe using those values right good so we come down to the layer and then we right click then we come down to symbology now under symbology you use this drop down because it is using single symbology now that's why all of the colors of the different states are the same right good so you can actually change the color maybe if you want to but that's not the crux of um, today's tutorial you change it you see that it's now something else see it's something else right good that's not the crux of today's tutorial however what this tutorial intends to achieve is for you to come up to the single method use the drop down and then use unique values right good instead of the single symbol you use unique values now this unique value allows you to assign a field with which you want to use for what the symbology and then there's a color scheme this color scheme gives you the range of colors as um, designed by the software for you to use right good you can actually format the color scheme to maybe your preferred um, range of colors right good so the field we want to use for the categorized and symbology onto this tutorial is what the state name right good you can actually confirm that when you open the attributes table here yeah? you can see the field let's move this to this point you can see different fields and then you can maybe identify the unique field with which you want to work, carry out your symbology so the fields are all here when you use this drop down so we are going to use what the statement as a field for what the categorized symbology so you can rightly see that um, the boundary that was having was single color now as what different colors and this is based on what the color scheme we have used so if we change it to something else we are going to see different set of colors right good so maybe you want to sample or maybe you want to show rock types you want to show some geological strata you want to show maybe different phenomena that you want to show differently right good but maybe they are actually related to some point and then you want to use different colors to actually show them so this is one method you can use to automatically what visualize or maybe symbolize what the set of data you have these ones are a bit light right good those are ones we have picked so thanks for coming to class we hope we have shown you a very simple and short tutorial how you can carry out them um, categorize symbology using AGIS Pro so you can actually play around with them um, some of these other tools the very symbology by attribute symbol layer drawing and all of that to see how you can modify what you already have maybe to um, have a better aesthetic or a better presentation of what the symbol so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye